Well, well, it's time to build something a little bit different. This video basically just goes out to Malfunction Eddie because once I put pictures of this Lego thingamabob robot man um, on Twitter, he asked, oh, that's really cool. Could you do a sort of how-to build video because I'd love to make one myself. And I know Eddie has loads of Hero Factory stuff, so you'd probably find it quite easy to whip this up, I would imagine. But if you too have the necessary parts to make this, then maybe you'd like to have a go. And I just thought, you know, why not do a little video um, I haven't done a build one in a while and doing something completely different that no one else will have actually built um, I thought it would just be something nice to do so uh, yeah what is this thing what I've done made it's just this robot thing uh, it's all Hero Factory parts I've just basically raided whatever Hero Factory bits I have to create the most poseable robot I can. That was basically the aim of this thing. I mean, I made it as a sort of skeleton first. All the armor is just optional. But I just want to give you a little rundown of its poseability um, before I tear it down and show you how to make it. So of course it's got you know, regular legs and feet and all that. And I've arranged the armor or tried to arrange the armor so that you can get the deepest bend on each of the joints. But the real reason I made this was because I wanted to make something that has some torso posability. So he's got a waist swivel and there's a ball joint in the waist as well. So that's like an ab crunch and whatever. Um, the shoulders can tilt up and down like that. And then as a bit of a sort of emergent quality in the design, um, I realized that the shoulders can go like in and out as well, just because the way I put it together. And I totally didn't realize that when I was making it. So that was sort of a nice bonus. You could sort of, you know, angle his arms round and get him to cross his arms or whatever, you know. There is uh, quite a nice lot of options with this. I'm pretty proud of it, to be perfectly honest. And I really don't want to tear it down because it's just so fun to mess with and to think that I have made something that is as poseable as like some high-end Japanese figure. Let's tear him down and I'll show you how to make your own. Okay, so here are all the bits you're gonna need. I'll just run through them quickly. Um, you've gotta have one of these really tiny ball and socket bits, a ball joint that you can fit a cross pin through, one of those blue round and cross shaped bits. I really need to learn what Lego pieces are called. Um, three of these number three cross bits, two of the old sort of bionicle hands, one of these sort of mm, ball joint with two socket thing of bobs, um, the colours of all these pieces don't matter at all, it's just I've happened to use red ones because when it comes to Hero Factory bits I've only got these bits in red. Um, three of these sort of short but not shortest uh, ball and socket bits. Three of the ones that have got two balls on. And half and half. Two of the longer ones that have got a round hole through. I've just used longer pieces for the legs because it makes proportions a bit nicer. But one of these pieces, which is just sort of three ball joints and two round connectors. A T-shaped bit full of holes. Two of these grey ball joints with two cross pieces. Four of these sort of, well, you know, Hero Factory thighs, I suppose, is the best way of describing these. Um, I've got two red ones and two black ones, but it again doesn't matter what colour you use uh, and then two of the longer versions of those with the hole in the middle again just for longer legs uh, two hands a head i've just used one of these sort of relatively new brain attack heads i think this is from either stormer or the frost beast and i just like it because it's a nice sort of faceless robot face two feet and then yes the armor uh i've got a sort of chest piece here that's totally optional because it sort of barely fits on when it's finished um, but it does sort of fit and I'll show you that uh, and then two of these number six I think armor pieces and four of the number five armor pieces which I've got two in red and then two of the small little armor bits but again that's all optional because really all I'm building here is a skeleton so let's get to it you want to start with your sort of three ball joint thing of bob here and this is going to become the sort of hips of the robot get your t-piece with all the holes in it and just stick that on there and then using the empty hole in the middle you want to put your blue bit in there and then put the ball jointy ball on that stick one of the old bionicle hand thing of bobs on that and that gives you the waist joint now in every sort of 
piece of this you want to just fill it up with the number three cross bits and you can sort of you know arrange that one as you like because it will need to sort of move around later on it's time to construct the sort of ball jointy element of the torso uh, so you're going to need the sort of two connector piece and that's going to go across allowing you to snap in two of these red jointy bits and you take your short sort of uh, slightly small arm bits or whatever they are put them on here these will make the shoulders you can go ahead and put these grey ball joints in these bits and now that you've got these sort of free to wiggle around you can just about sort of get them onto the cross pieces on here helps to sort of slide on all the way and then wangle the other one on and you can just sort of push it all along just so it sort of looks vaguely symmetrical even though that's going to be pretty difficult because the ball joints are sort of want to do their own thing but uh there you've got most of the torso now if you want to take another one of the bionicle hand bits another one of the short sort of stubby bones put those together take your little short stubbiest piece put that on there and take one of these bits that will go on there and this makes the neck but just to sort of solidify the torso a bit more i mean you could leave it out and then you'd have even more of a bend with these ball joints it's best to not sort of have them moving around all over the place so just to shore it all up a bit take this sort of contraption you've just put together stick it on there and move that around so it's facing that way get that to connect in with the cross piece you've got poking out and that will make a nice solid torso. So let's get the extremities on. All this bit really doesn't need to be shown, does it, to be honest? But um, let's go through it anyway for the sake of completeness and all that. But it really is the easiest thing in the world, isn't it, to just put some limbs on one of these new kind of Lego construction people. There you've got some arms which will go up and down and shrug and go in and out. Give them some legs, yes, yes, it's all good. Joints for everyone. Put the feet on. And you've got your basic skeleton. Um, now this is essentially just sort of what I made and thought that that was perfectly fine to just sort of leave it like that. Um, but he does sort of need a bit of flesh on them bones. But yeah, this is the raw thing. It's probably even more poseable without any armour on it, to be honest. Go ahead and stick the chest piece on. And that will just go on the sort of hole that's on the side of this bit. Uh, and it also sort of fits in that hole as well, which isn't really for anything other than to just, you know, stop it from snapping or whatever that is. And it fits on there okay, but it's not as solid as like a proper connection because it isn't really, really using one and a bit holes. And you can just go and armour the rest of them up and uh, the particular arrangement of bits that I've got is red thighs which face forwards like this and then the longest armour pieces on your shins down here facing outwards. And I think that gives a bit more bend than the other way around. So that's what we go for for this ultra poseable guy. Uh, then with the arms, take more of the bigger arm pieces, but put them on sort of that way around. A bit unconventional, oh dear. Uh, and the same with these smaller bits, but have them round that way. And that allows the most sort of bend in the arm because it stops the pieces sort of clashing together too much. Finish the other arm up and there he is. All done and super, super poseable guy. Yeah. Mm. There you go. Hope that was helpful, Eddie. And anyone else who might have enjoyed watching that, yes, go build yourself some super explodey, super poseable Lego person, man, robot thing, dude, guy. Whoosh. <laughs>